Hi, my name is Marcus Leto. I'm the creative director of Halo Reach. Uh, my job as creative director is really to oversee everything creatively throughout the game with regards to the, the uh, creation of the story, the campaign, uh, how multiplayer is, is integrated into that, and then you know all of the engineering efforts that need to be uh, uh, spearheaded in order to accommodate that vision. We've put every bit of effort we could possibly put into Reach. We put the entire you know, experience of a decade of building Halo, from Halo 1 through Halo 3 and ODST, put all the most uh, uh, important parts of those titles into Reach as far as features are concerned. Uh, we, we created, I think, one of the best campaigns we have ever built to date. Um, is definitely one of the most feature-rich games ever created by Bungie. It's the biggest game we've ever created. It is a swan song to the Halo universe. It's, it, this is a send-off to our fans, and we wanted to make sure that what they got then was one of the best experiences that they could ever have in a Halo universe. So, in, t in looking back at the entire series, we looked at every one of the titles. We looked at everything that we had done well and then things that we thought we might have done a little bit uh, not so well. And we took all of those parts out of it that we didn't like. And uh, we included all of these amazing features from the franchise thus far into Reach. Uh, upgraded every one of them, made them all a little bit better than what they've ever been before. And uh, wrapped that all in this fantastic fic fiction for Reach. Uh, uh, taking place just prior to the events of Halo 1 that really brings things full circle for our fans. And it's a great entry point then for brand new fans who have never played the game before. Uh, when we started this project, the vision for it began to grow very quickly and it, and it uh, was soon very clear to us that the vision for this game uh, outstripped the capability of the Halo 3 engine. So it was not going to be a uh, possibility for us just to build this game right with the Halo 3 engine. So we actually had to go back and nearly gut everything in the engine with regards to the graphics engine and our entire animation system, for instance, to name a couple, uh, in, order to accommodate, uh, in order to accommodate this vision. Uh, animation took a generational leap forward with Reach in a way that the quality of animation now for the characters and the process in which uh, we went through to create that animation is far greater, far better than what we've ever done before. And the, uh, the graphics, certainly, the models are much higher resolution, textures much higher resolution, the environment's bigger and better than anything we've ever created before as well. Why you guys ex uh, added expanding crosshairs to the uh, to reach? You know, it's, it's only a formalization of something that we've always done. Uh, we've always had spread on our, on our spew weapons, and, uh, so, but we've never visually represented it. Uh, we're doing that this time just so, f uh, so people who are really paying attention and are, are really hardcore about the game have a better understanding of what their rounds from the weapons are really doing. Uh, we built a very in-depth storyline for each character. Um, every one of them has a uh, pages and pages of bio uh, that we wrote ourselves that uh, help our writers, help our actors understand how their characters should behave. We even created um, uh, uh, interactions between characters, how they would talk with one another in order to really uh, solidify the, the, the nature of their relationship between one another. Um, so for all the fans out there, I mean, there's a lot of, of, of effort that we put into Halo Reach and we are super excited for you to all jump in and start playing with us on the battlefield coming up on September 14th.